With the AMD Z1 Extreme APU and the current generation handhelds like the ROG Ally and the Legion Go, you can play a ton of PC games with great performance these days. But many titles, especially newer, harder to run games, benefit greatly from technologies like FSR, RSR, and RIS on AMD devices. I often see a lot of questions and misunderstanding around these AMD features, so I think a quick video is in order to explain what each of these technologies are and when to use them. So with focus on the Ally and Go, let's get right into it and talk about these useful AMD features. FSR or Fidelity FX Super Resolution, this is an in-game feature usually in graphic settings. Simply go into the settings of any game with in-game FSR support and enable it to the desired performance setting. It will render your game at a lower resolution based on your selection like quality, balance, performance, and more. And it will upscale it to the native display resolution. This boosts performance while working to maintain image quality the best possible. FSR 1 is a spatial upscaler and while it works well in this first generation of FSR, it isn't able to maintain as much image quality or performance boost in comparison to FSR 2 which uses temporal upscaling. This provides much more information for the upscaler, resulting in better image quality. Now we also have FSR 3 these days, and it can seem confusing as well, but basically that's FSR 2 in its updated form, combined with a new technology called Fluid Motion Frames or Frame Generation, a feature that aims to basically double your frame rate or more at times, and it can come with its own set of issues as well, like input latency and things like that, but it can be a great option. These all combined make up the great feature suite of FSR 3. So FSR is really all about the upscaling, frame generation, and image quality all working to help improve the gaming experience. And talking about improving the gaming experience, here's today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is Maximum Settings. They offer a Linux-based cloud gaming PC that you can connect to with almost any device using Moonlight. I've tested them for a few years here on the channel and have always had a great experience. They've recently added monthly packages, which I think is a great value for customers and something we've been asking for, but also offer hourly rates for those that may need more time. So there's options there for you. Of course, you get a full-blown desktop here with Linux, and you'll have things like Lutris, Heroic, and Steam, and others to really manage all of your launchers and your games, and it works really well. If you are coming over from the Steam Deck, a lot of these processes will feel familiar to you. Their gaming performance has been really good, especially on their higher-end hardware, and they're always looking to upgrade. You can jump in and play a lot of your favorites and expect some really good performance, and you're able to use Moonlight to really tweak your experience. I'm happy to see a company really take the reins and put a gaming PC for Linux in the cloud. If you're interested, there'll be a link in the description to go check them out. Okay, so what about RSR? RSR, or Radeon Super Resolution, is a spatial upscaler similar to FSR 1, but this is at the AMD driver level and not an in-game feature. This is intended more for games that don't support FSR, not a replacement for it. The way this works is you go into the AMD software on your Ally or Go. Go to Gaming, and then Graphics, and activate RSR. There's a slider there that you can adjust how much of the effect that you want. The Ally and the Go also have another way to turn this feature on and off. On the Ally, you can access these toggles in Armory Crate, in Settings, Operation Mode, and GPU Settings, or by using the Command Center shortcuts if you have that set up. On the Legion Go, you can open your Quick Access menu and go into the Settings tab. At the bottom, there's an RSR toggle there for you. Once RSR is on, open up the game you want to play. Go into the game's graphics settings and lower the in-game resolution to where you want it. RSR will then upscale to your native resolution, similar to how FSR 1 works, giving you similar performance to the lower resolution, but upscaling it to native for better image quality. This has worked well for me in titles missing FSR features on both of these handhelds. And I also want to make mention of RIS, or Radeon Image Sharpening. I've seen some confusion about this one in the past as well. RIS does not do any upscaling or performance enhancing. If anything, you could lose a slight bit of performance with it, though you really shouldn't. It's simply an image sharpening filter. You can access this in the AMD software, in gaming and graphics, just like I showed with RSR on both the ROG Ally and the Legion Go. No shortcut in Legion space yet or that I have found on the Legion Go, unfortunately, to turn this on or off. But the Ally does have an Armory Crate, and of course, if you've set it up Command Center for you like RSR, so easy to turn on and off there. When you turn it on the AMD software, there will be a slider bar for the amount of sharpening you want the image to have in-game. RIS isn't a replacement for FSR, RSR, or any of that, but it's meant to work alongside upscalers and anti-aliasing features to clean up and sharpen the image. 
Some FSR and anti-aliasing can soften or blur the images a bit. Using some RIS at little cost can help bring a lot of the image back and looking better for you. So for a quick recap on when to use these features and when to tick them on, typically when it comes to FSR and RSR, you almost always want to use in-game features over in-driver. So if a game has FSR, use that over RSR unless it's a unique situation for your game. If your game has no in-game FSR options, then you want to use RSR for your upscaling. If your game is a bit soft or seems blurry, especially if using FSR1, RSR, or something like TAA anti-aliasing, then you can turn on RIS and adjust the sharpening for your liking. RIS is a great option to clean up the image quality at low cost hit to performance in general. AMD has a nice suite of features and their RS works very well, as does RSR. I always prefer in-game options and features, but it's great to have choices and feature sets to help our gaming experience. Okay guys, a fairly simple video here explaining what these AMD features are, how to use them, and when you should probably click them on. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone who has struggled with these in the past. I know we've had a lot of pe new people come into the fold with these handhelds, a lot of these mainstream handhelds and more to come. Seems like a lot more people coming into the space kind of needing to know what these features do. AMD offers a great set of features these days for boosting performance and image quality in games, and it's worth taking advantage of these, especially on the handhelds like the Legion Go and the ROG Ally. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. Hopefully you got something from it. I appreciate you coming to watch as always, and I'll see you in the next one.